Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should inspect how your report will appear with actual data displayed from the data source by using the preview function. To preview a report for the first time, select View from the menu bar, then choose the Print Preview command. Note that you can also just click the Print Preview button that appears within the standard toolbar. Crystal Reports will then create a new tab named Preview where you can see the report with the associated data displayed. Once the Preview tab has been created, you can switch between the Design tab and the Preview tab in the future when you wish to view the data as it will display in the report when printed. Note that when you are viewing the Preview tab, you will see the Print Preview toolbar appear. Clicking the Refresh button on this toolbar will refresh the report's data by drawing the most recent information from the underlying data source. You can click the Stop button to stop pulling the underlying data for the report if needed. This stops the refreshing of the report data should it happen to take too long and you wish to simply preview the initial data. After those two buttons are a set of arrow buttons. You can use these buttons to navigate through the preview of the data in the report. You can click the small left and right pointing arrows to navigate back and forth through the pages in a multi-page report preview. You can click the buttons that look like small left and right pointing arrows with a line next to them to jump to the first page or the last page in a report preview. You will also see a page numbering indicator between the sets of arrows in this bar. Page numbering is displayed in an X of Y format where X is the current page and Y is the total number of pages. Also note that Crystal Reports will only display a single formatted page at a time in the preview. So if you see a small plus sign next to the total page count within the toolbar, it means that there are additional pages to display, but that Crystal Reports has not yet rendered those pages, so the total page count is still unknown. If this occurs, you can simply click the Last Page button within the toolbar to jump to the last page to get an accurate page count. At the bottom of the Report Preview in the Status Bar, is the time and or date display of the most recent date and time that the report's data was refreshed from the underlying data source. If you want to delete the Preview tab entirely, you can click the small X button in the Preview tab to close the report preview. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.